Every single one of these individuals who provided our risk capital, these were my peers and my mentors whom I most admired. What drew me to SV2 in the very, very early days was Laura Ariaga. Laura had this idea of bringing uh, Silicon Valley philanthropists or budding philanthropists together uh, around philanthropy. And uh, at the time, there, there was no such uh, organization. We were all new in philanthropy. We didn't know how to do it. So it was a great thing to have as a resource for all of us that were new to this field. It certainly uh, struck me as an innovative and unique opportunity. I didn't know of anything and I still don't know anything quite like it. When I look back, it was really unique the way we'd go in and do due diligence, really trying to understand an organization, seeing firsthand what the organization was uh, was doing, how it was really improving the community. It was tangible. It was something you could touch. One of the great attributes of SV2 is staying power. Obviously, this idea has legs. And having legs and being able to continue uh, and grow, which by every measure has happened, is a testament to true success in tapping into a sense that people had, this works for me. And that's what SV2 has done, created a network of highly engaged, highly motivated philanthropists with this wonderful training ground to network with each other and feel supported. A lot of what we do at Sobrato now as a result around capacity building and around organizational development are kind of things I learned from various relationships or um, experiences I had through SV2. It's produced a lot of really good philanthropists in this community and uh, there's a lot of people like ourselves who didn't know very much about philanthropy when we got started. I learned a lot through SV2 and have, have now become quite accomplished. All of the, the partners at SV2 are leaders in the community and make such a difference with the organizations that they, that they support. So by supporting SV2, we're actually supporting the leadership development of other uh, volunteers that will only make these nonprofits even stronger. It's really important that people invest not only in the capacity of SV2's grantees, but also in the capacity of SV2 as an organization. Because what SV2 is doing is it's increasing the pie of giving. What's different with SV2 is it's, it has a broader cross-section, so it covers a lot more variety of areas um, within Silicon Valley and also internationally. For us to be effective in what we do, we, we've learned to focus. and. In our case, we focus on education and the environment. But I'm also grateful that there are people who focus in other areas because, again, I don't think just one area is going to solve all the world's problems, obviously. I think that's why it's important to encourage an organization like SV2 to grow and engage as many people as possible. You know, if something is working, you want to keep supporting it and make sure that it does get to grow up and stand on its own, and certainly SV2 has done that to the max. The Valley reinvents itself every five to ten years, and there's always a new crop of young entrepreneurs that are coming into the Valley, starting companies, having an impact on the world, and now have the resources and the opportunity to turn their attention to the social good. The work of SV2 is more important now than ever. In terms of the future, I mean, it's, it's the sky's the limit. It's very exciting about what's, what, what the potential is. 
And you know, Gary and I are, are all in with helping to make SV2 the best that it could possibly be. The individuals who we are celebrating are really the individuals who made SV2 possible. Thank you.